Hi guys, welcome sa Sip Nine. In this video ay tutuloy natin yung series natin on factoring. So far, yung napag-aralan pa lang natin ay ang factoring uh, polynomials with common monomial factors. And sa video na to pag-aaralan natin kung paano ay factor yung uh, polynomials with common binomial factors. Siyempre, hindi naman palaging monomial yung common factors, di ba? Posible namang binomial or any uh, polynomial. So, let's have our first uh, problem. We have factor x plus y times a uh, plus x plus y times b. So, I think obvious naman na ang common factor ay x plus y, which means na pwede natin siyang i-factor out, no? Pag i-factor out natin yung x plus y, ang matitira, pag tinanggal mo yung x plus y dito, matitira ay a, di ba? So, A ang matitira sa first term. And then, we have a plus here. And yung pangalawang term ay B. Okay. Pwede mo kasi i-distribute itong X plus Y times A tapos X plus Y times B. Babalik ka sa original mo na polynomial. Okay. So, one way of looking at this also, if you want to use the common monomial factor, pwede natin siyang, uh, if we can let m be equal to x plus y, and this will become, di ba yung x plus y natin ay m, m times a, plus, m times b, di ba? m ito. So, m times a, tapos m times b, di ba? And then, this is equal to m. If we factor out m, this becomes m times a plus b. So, again, ito yung napag-aralan nyo sa previous video ng factoring out, um, factoring common monomial factor, no? And m here is x plus y, which means that this is x plus y times a plus b. Okay? So, pareho lang naman. Uh, yun nga lang, ang fina-factor out natin dito ay uh, binomial. Now, for the second uh, problem, we have x times x plus 8 minus uh, quantity x plus 8 and obviously, we can factor out x plus 8 at anong matitira dito sa una? Matitira ay x. Tapos ang operation mo ay subtraction. And then, anong matitira sa, ano, sa second term? 1, di ba? Bakit 1? Kasi when you're factoring out x plus 8, you're actually dividing. Di ba? Dinidivide mo sila pareho ng x plus 8 kasi yun ang ilalabas mo. Yan ay factor out mo. So, x plus 8 divided by x plus 8 is 1. Kaya siya mag, mag minus 1 tayo dito. This is the minus sign. Okay? And again, uh, if you want to use the second method uh, dito sa ating uh, first example, we have, uh, if we let uh, n be equal to x plus 8, then we will have x n minus n, which is equal to n times x minus 1, which is equal to, yung n natin ay x plus 8. So this is x plus 8 times x minus 1, which is the same lang naman. So depende sa inyo kung saan kayo comfortable, no? And for the last number, we have c times c minus 4 plus 5 times c minus 4. And ang ating common factor dyan ay c minus 4 which is uh, which is which leaves c plus 5 no? so that's uh, c plus 5 and again if you want to use the second method you can let uh, p for example uh, 
p is equal to c minus 4 then we'll have uh, c times p plus 5 times p is equal to p times c plus 5 pag finactor natin and we know that p is c minus 4 and then we have c plus 5 